How's it going guys? Rahul here and today we're gonna be trying shirataki noodles, shirataki pasta. And the reason I'm trying it is so you don't have to. So I'm gonna try them out. I'm gonna see if they're good or not and if they're a good alternative to pasta. And if they are, then I'll let you know. And if they're not, then you will know that you should probably not try them because you could just take my word for it and I will take the damage for you. These noodles are really low calorie. These noodles are great for dieting. And when I was losing weight, I never ever ate these noodles. I love pasta. And if these noodles are a good alternative to pasta, that means that I could eat these noodles instead of pasta. And then that would save me a ton of calories in my diet. And I could use those calories for other things like real pasta. We are gonna go to the grocery store and we're gonna find shirataki noodles today. So sit back, relax, enjoy this video, and let's see, are shirataki noodles the new wave? And do we even need pasta anymore? So I tried these out years ago. These were back in my fat days. Didn't really know how to lose weight, didn't know anything about calories, none of that stuff. Try these noodles out. Cause I was like, whoa, low cal, like 10 calories for the bag? This is insane, I don't need pasta anymore. This is the future. You got noodles with no calories, like, I'm gonna be losing tons of weight with this. So I bought a bag, cook it up with a really, really high calorie Alfredo sauce. Cause keep in mind, I did not know anything about dieting. This was years ago. I will put up a picture of the bowl of noodles I made right, right here. I took one bite and I almost threw up. They were disgusting. They were so bad, but I have a few theories. Either back when I tried these out, I wasn't used to dieting foods. So my taste buds, could have changed, they could have evolved. My taste buds might be more receptive to these noodles now than before. Because back then I was eating whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. My taste buds were so used to just eating bad food. Bad food, I don't know if I can say that on the internet. That I didn't like the noodles. My second hypothesis, maybe I'm a little bit better at cooking now, you know. It's been a few years, I would have hoped that I have gotten a little bit better. I can find my way around the kitchen a bit better now. So maybe I can cook up these noodles a bit better this time. The third hypothesis is I'm gonna be using my favorite meat, which is bison. Bison, like what? That's whack. Guys, trust me, try bison. It is insane, it's so good. But first, I'm at the gym because today is my cardio day. No weights, I know, I know. You're looking at this jacked physique. I look like the rock. So I have to lift every single day, like cardio? I wanna live a long life too, you know? I know you can't see all the muscles underneath you know this jacket this hoodie but just trust me i'm huge there's no better gym to do cardio than planet fitness baby let's go got my water bottle probably should wash it a bit more than i do because i forget so it might be a little gross in this water bottle but hey it's only making me stronger right because you know immunity masked up let's get this 45 minutes of cardio in and then get these shirataki noodles. Workout's done. Let's go get these noodles. Tell me why I work out for 45 minutes and when I enter, it is bright outside. And when I leave, it's almost dark. Mother nature is not playing around because it's 5.30 right now. Makes so much sense why I didn't like these noodles back in the day because you can't just give a young boy who ate Olive Garden chicken parm two days before some miracle noodles and be like, here you go. These are gonna be your new alternative to pasta. Enjoy, that's not gonna work. But your boy dieted for quite some time my taste buds have changed, or I like to call it matured. Before we get these noodles, I want a little something warm to, you know, warm me up in this tundra that is New Jersey. As you can see, it is dark outside. There is ice on the ground, there's snow on the ground. So I need a little something warm to, you know, warm up my body. So I got the car on 80 degrees right now. I got the seat warmer on. I got this jacket on. I got a hoodie underneath this jacket, but you know, I need something else to warm me up. And I think I know exactly what will do it? Coffee from none other than Wawa. So let's go to Wawa. Gas station coffee? Ew, that's gross. That's not Starbucks. Okay, Wawa doesn't have cold foam like Starbucks does. 
So if you haven't seen that cold foam video, you know, go watch that. But Wawa is good, guys. It is the BMW of gas stations. It is, it is the Mercedes of gas stations. It is the Lamborghini of gas stations. They have some good coffee. I was feeling the hazelnut vibe today, you know? So I was gonna get a hazelnut coffee, but then I walk in and I see this. I'll put up a picture right here. Cinnamon bun coffee, like what? When there is a limited edition coffee flavor, you get the limited edition coffee flavor. I didn't know what size to get. You know, there's 16 ounces, 20 ounces, 24 ounces, large one. I went with 24 ounces to make up for my lack of I'm picking up flavor notes right now. Just kidding, I'm not a coffee connoisseur. That is pretty good. Pretty good. I think I like hazelnut a little more. I think I like dark roast a little more too. Hmm. It's good though. And of course I got black coffee because I needed to pick up all the subtle notes of the sweet cinnamon and vanilla. It's growing on me. It grew on me from my first sip to my second sip. This is a limited edition flavor. And it's February right now, cinnamon bun. I feel like that's a fall time vibe. Valentine's Day just passed. So maybe like a better limited edition seasonal flavor would be chocolate raspberry or something like that for Valentine's Day. What's like a winter flavor? Cocoa? But no, that would be hot chocolate. So you can't do that in coffee. I think chocolate raspberry is seasonal flavor right now for this time of the year. So Wawa, I don't know who you got picking the seasonal coffee flavors right now, but if you need someone new, call me. Let's go get these noodles. Guess what? Let's go. Fettuccine. Yeah. Italian dish is gonna come out great with this because come on, it's in the shape of fettuccine. 20 calories for the whole pack. I figured I'd make a, make a little Asian stir fry noodle kind of dish. So I got this one because it looked more authentic. This one is a little different. It is yam noodle. So this one has yam flour. This one does not have yam flour. Also, this is in fettuccine form, you know. Authentic Italian noodle shape. This one is just in noodle form, whatever shape that is. Let's go make some noodle skis. A little colder, but still good. If your coffee cools down, don't get upset, guys. It's turning into iced coffee. Mmm! We are back and I got the noodles. So this one, you drain it, you boil it, and then you drain it again. But this one is a little different. Rinse and drain, then cut into easy to eat pieces. So is this just like one long noodle in here and I cut it into pieces? I'm gonna toss the fettuccine one and some tomato basil pasta sauce. Sounds good to me. And I'll season it up with some garlic, some basil, some red crushed chili pepper salt, pepper, you know. But this one, the yam noodles, I'm gonna make a little sauce with some sriracha, some chili garlic paste, a little bit of Jihoo sweet chili because my boy G is always in the kitchen. A little soy sauce, throw a little ginger, throw a little garlic in there. And I'll throw a little bit of this stir fry blend. I'm about to cook up the bison. I've got two pans on the stove right there. One for boiling the noodles and one for the bison. Let's open one of these and drain it. So let's crack this bad boy open. This is literally a fish. This smells like if I went to the ocean, picked up a dead fish and smelt it. This is... Why am I smelling? Okay, I'm gonna just drain it. It smells like fish, but like really bad fish that's like dead, like dead fish. All right, so I got the first one. A lot of the smell has gone away after I boiled it and then drained it really, really, really well. I got it in this pan that I sauteed the bison in. But let's see if this one smells any different. Will the yam mask the weird smell? Okay, this one, I didn't get any smell. And then I went closer and then it smells, but it does not smell as bad as the other one. These smell a lot better. So maybe, not having to boil it is okay because these don't smell nearly as bad. The yam, gotta love me some yams. 
These noodles, the fettuccine, I know maybe there should be an Alfredo sauce, but we're doing marinara today. I'll put some red crushed pepper, a lot more basil, because I love basil, garlic powder, a little bit of salt, and some black pepper. And now I'm gonna put, maybe I need to go to the gym a little more. Wow, this is embarrassing. There we go. That is a quarter cup of sauce. And it looks like that will be, no, I need a little more. So that should be good. So I'm gonna toss this on the stove. We got the other sauce right here. This is more like a soy sauce, Asian inspired, you know the deal. Let's toss these noodles in there. This is smelling pretty good with the soy sauce and everything. This is not looking too bad. I'll heat this up just a little bit and we should be good to go soon. Here we got the stir fry, Asian inspired one. Sauteed up the vegetables in the same sauce that I used to season the noodles. This one is a marinara one with fettuccine shirataki noodles. Italian, Asian, let's see how these taste. If this doesn't make the noodles taste good, I don't know what will. My hopes have gotten a bit higher. Let's see if this is worth it. Thumbnail, 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 thumbnail. All right, let's try this out. Which one should I go first? I'll go for the Italian one first. It spins like regular pasta. I got some of the noodles, a little bit of bison. Hmm. It's good, but like not that good. Like, I can definitely tell the difference between this and regular pasta. Like. If you gave me this and said, oh, it's regular pasta, I would not be tricked. And if you are tricked and this tastes like regular pasta to you, you've been dieting for a long time. Let's try this though. I like it though, I like it. Like I could definitely eat that again. Like that's not that bad. That's why I had to cut it. Is this one long noodle? If only I knew how to use chopsticks. You see those noodles wrapped up around that fork? Little bison, little veg. Threw some sesame seeds and sriracha on top because sriracha makes everything better. Oh, this is way better. Like. That is not bad. I could I could kind of pass this off like it's just an Asian noodle dish and I don't know what the noodles are. This is not bad at all. I kind of like this. Ooh, this is good. No slapping me. That is good, okay. So this is a win. This I'm a little unsure on. Let's give it another go. Okay, don't give this to your Italian grandmother and tell her that you are cooking Italian food for dinner because it will not work. Texture on this is quite slimy. It's basically like jello. Like jello noodles, if that makes sense. Not the best, but on this, I don't know if it's the shape of the noodle, I don't know if it's because it's an Asian inspired dish, but that texture works a lot better. I don't mind it at all, but for this, the texture is just really weird with an Italian dish. Like, you know that bite you get with regular noodles, like that al dente bite? You don't get that with this. 
It's just Jello, but like without the Jello flavor, without the fruit flavor. If I took Jello and shaped it like a noodle, that's what this is. So stick with the Asian inspired dish and you will have a better time eating these noodles or eat regular pasta. That works too, but these are low calorie. This turned out a lot better than expected because when I last tried this, I hated it. I literally took one bite and threw it all away because it was that bad and made me nauseous. It was disgusting. This is not bad. So have I been dieting for a long time? If you've ever tried shirataki noodles, let me know. I say it's a go. It's worth it if you're going to make an Asian inspired dish. If you're not, if you're going to make something like an Italian dish, probably not the best. And you're better off just getting regular pasta, maybe zucchini noodles. Zucchini noodles taste better than this, in my opinion. But for an Asian inspired dish, it's a win. Shirataki noodles, I will be having them again. Because anything low calorie, it just gets me. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next video.